and it's my great pleasure to present our today's speaker, Professor Kudryavtsev Alek. And you can see the talk of his title, uh, the title of his talk, on the screen. And uh, Professor Kudryavtsev, if you are ready, then thank you very much, and please go ahead. Thank you very much, Alexei. And first of all, I'd like to thank uh, the organizer for possibility to give a talk on at this seminar. And uh, uh, the talk is uh, titled is a simple winner of factorization method for pricing options with barrier and Levy driven mo models. And uh, uh, the motivation for uh, this talk is uh, uh, the problem of option valuation uh, and uh, since uh, uh, the end of uh, uh, 20th century uh, option valuation on the Levy uh, models uh, uh, paid uh, attention from uh, many researchers from different countries and uh, uh, this uh, topic was uh, one of the drivers in computational mathematics. Uh, the first uh, problem that was solved uh, is uh, the problem of pricing uh, European options. Uh, the solution was not very uh, difficult from computational point of view. It was one dimensional Fourier uh, integral. Uh, in complex plane with the shift in a complex plane, uh, but uh, more complicated options uh, like path dependent options uh, still remain a computational challenge. Uh, I uh, recall uh, the definition of, uh, of the option, so if we consider in general Terms option is uh, uh, is the right or not the obligation in the right uh, to buy or uh, sell some stock uh, at some price uh, at the terminal date or during some uh, period, and uh, there are many different types of options, and uh, uh, one uh, of uh, more interesting uh, from uh, the po uh, practical point options are barrier options uh, which uh, can be uh, used in uh, uh, exchange uh, on uh, forex exchange uh, uh, to give some barriers for uh, uh, rates of uh, uh, currency rates and uh, the definition of a double barrier option is a contract uh, which pays uh, a specified a specified payoff at the terminal date uh, typically it is uh, the difference between uh, the stock price and some uh, strike price and uh, we pay uh, this uh, amount in the case if it is uh, okay for us if it is not okay we do not pay so this is the right uh, in the case of option uh, the, the right of the choice so this uh, payoff is uh, always positive or to be more correct uh, non-negative so it is zero if it is not good for us and uh, uh, it is positive if uh, it is good for us and uh, uh, we specify, uh, we specify the constant barriers uh, from above and from below. We denote them by D and U respectively. And uh, if uh, the price uh, crosses the barrier, then the option uh, becomes worthless. And uh, in the case if U is uh, infinity, plus infinity, then we have so-called down and out single barrier option. If uh, the low barrier is uh, minus infinity, then we obtain up and out single barrier options. And uh, 
if uh, there is no uh, crossing barrier event uh, in this case uh, we just obtain simple so-called european type option at the end uh, in the terminal date and uh, we uh, obtain uh, payoff uh, defined by the function g uh, so uh, what is uh, uh, the problem uh, to uh, price uh, these options uh, from mathematical point of view. Uh, as I said, we consider Levy models uh, that uh, give us possibility to model uh, processes, uh, price processes uh, with jumps. Uh, then, uh, since we have uh, one barrier or two barriers, uh, we need, uh, if we use uh, Monte Carlo methods, uh, we should uh, take into account uh, events when uh, the price goes through the, uh, through the barrier and then crosses the barrier and then uh, goes back. And uh, in this case, uh, we need a uh, uh, sample uh, pass to be a very, uh, with a, a very small time, time step. And uh, this uh, situation makes uh, Monte Carlo methods very slowly in the case of uh, pure jump Levy models or uh, models with many, many uh, jumps. And um, uh, in fact, uh, if we consider uh, uh, famous Black Scholes model, uh, which is uh, based on Gaussian Levy process. Uh, and uh, we write down the problem for standard European option. After some change of variable, we obtain uh, something which looks like uh, the heat equation. So uh, the Nobel Prize of uh, Black, Scholes and Merton uh, in fact, uh, uh, related to the solution solving uh, heat, the heat equation, uh, but with application to finance. Uh, and in the case of uh, differential equations like the heat equation, uh, we have a uh, very simple uh, three diagonal matrix in uh, matrix in uh, in the case of application of finite difference schemes but in the case of uh, levy processes uh, we obtain uh, integral differential equation so uh, the matrix uh, will be dense and in this case uh, each uh, model will require de a detailed analysis of uh, its levy measure uh, in mean uh, in terms of uh, uh, integral equations, the kernels of these uh, uh, integral operators. And uh, so uh, there is no unified uh, approach uh, to obtain the finite difference scheme. And the problem to find inverse matrix for, uh, for, the, dense uh, for the dense matrix. And uh, there are uh, uh, several uh, winner hope factorization uh, approach to uh, solve these uh, problems, uh, but uh, in the case of um, uh, even uh, in the case of single barriers, uh, we have uh, non-trivial approximate formulas. Uh, one of the these approximations was developed by me, uh, uh, maybe about 15. Uh, maybe 12 years ago. And uh, in fact, it is a uh, very fast and accurate method, but uh, not very trivial for implementations. And uh, I gave uh, some letters from uh, master students or PhD students uh, from different countries. They asked me uh, the help to implement this method in in MATLAB or in some different
background uh, uh, programming language and uh, I tried to help, but it was not so easy. Uh, so uh, the goal of uh, this talk uh, suggests uh, more, much more easy and effective, effective method to price uh, uh, barrier and double barrier options under pure non-Gaussian Gaussian Levy uh, models with jumps of finite variation. In fact, uh, this approach can be uh, generalized for more general case, uh, for the case of uh, unbounded variation. And uh, the main advantage of this approach will be uh, very simple Wiener-Hoff factorization formulas. Uh, and I forget to, to say that uh, in the case of double barrier options, uh, there are no um, explicit formulas uh, for uh, this kind of options. And uh, because we need uh, to solve the problem of uh, matrix factorization, or uh, we have a coupled pair of coupled Wiener-Hoff uh, integral equations. So, uh, in the case of single barrier options, uh, we have uh, an explicit formula, but uh, we sh I should note that uh, this formula is a three-dimensional integral uh, and uh, in Fourier, uh, Fourier type integral in complex plane. And uh, from computational point of view, it's uh, not very easy to find uh, uh, this integral without uh, any numerical methods. So uh, the main challenge is uh, to find uh, a simple way uh, to compute this integral, uh, maybe uh, by using uh, uh, some simplified uh, numerical approach. Uh, now, I give a short reminder about living processes. Uh, the definition for living processes is stochastically continuous process with stationally independent increments. And uh, the main advantage of living process that it uh, can be completely defined by its uh, characteristic exponent. Uh, we call it Psi. Uh, so I recall that uh, uh, this is, uh, I don't know if uh, the mouse is, you can see the mouse here. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, characteristic function of uh, random variable, uh, which is in at uh, point uh, at time t, we have xt is random variable. So the characteristic function of this uh, uh, random variable uh, can be represented in, uh, in a such simple form where psi is a characteristic exponent. And uh, due to uh, the levy kinchin formula, we have uh, 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 the general form for psi. Uh, the first two terms uh, represent the Gaussian part of uh, Levy model. Uh, so this, uh, the first term is diffusion and the second term is drift. And uh, the integral term represent jumps. And uh, if uh, positive part represents positive jumps and uh, negative uh, part of the integral uh, represents uh, negative jumps. And uh, F uh, is uh, Levy measure, and uh, if it has density, then <coughs> we call the density Levy density. Uh, so there are uh, some examples. Uh, if uh, we have a few jumps uh, uh, and uh, uh, a few comments about this uh, uh, condition. It means uh, that uh, integral 
converge uh, that that uh, Levy density uh, integral of Levy density converges at infinity plus and minus infinity. It means uh, that we do not have uh, uh, too large, uh, too many large jumps uh, with uh, large amplitude, uh, and uh, this. Uh, uh, interesting uh, combination means uh, that we may uh, that Levy density may have uh, singularity uh, for example for uh, degree up to second degree uh, and it means uh, that uh, the jump process may um, we can uh, observe movements with uh, many many uh, very small jumps and uh, uh, this uh, uh, this makes this model uh, very close to reality because we uh, at the stock exchange we may observe uh, the change in prices uh, very fast change in prices very small change up or down up or down and uh, so this model represents uh, this very small movements and if uh, jumps uh, we observe not very uh, large amount of jumps uh, then uh, uh, in this case the uh, uh, measure of uh, uh, real line is less than infinity and for example uh, jump diffusion process uh, where we have uh, uh, Gaussian part, uh, so Wiener process uh, and uh, some drift uh, with uh, several jumps uh, and the, uh, the number of jumps is defined by Poisson process and uh, these jumps, uh, the amplitude, amplitude of jumps uh, uh, independent identical distributed uh, random variables and one of the f uh, famous models is who model uh, with uh, exponentially distributed jumps on positive and negative uh, half axis and uh, so uh, the p parameter fixes uh, and the probability of positive jumps, so the probability of negative jumps will, will be 1 minus p. And uh, in this case, uh, the characteristic exponent of uh, this model is uh, looks like this. Uh, if uh, uh, jumps uh, are of finite variation, it means uh, that uh, X uh, multiplied on F uh, converges, uh, this integral converges. In this case, uh, the part, uh, uh, this uh, the last term in this uh, expression on the integral uh, can be moved to the drift term mu, and uh, so. Uh, Instead of three terms, we obtain two terms here. It's like this. And uh, one of uh, general uh, classes used in, uh, in uh, modeling uh, jumping processes uh, in financial markets are temperate stable Lv processes. Uh, and uh, in the case if we restrict them for finite uh, variation of jumps. In this case, uh, we uh, should uh, have parameters uh, nu plus and nu minus between zero and one. In this case, uh, jumps. Uh, this is uh, uh, the order of singularity of the Levy measure. You can see this uh, Levy pi is uh, uh, Levy. Uh, density, and you can see what is uh, the singularity for this measure. And uh, there are several kind of models, uh, different descriptions of this model, general cases like 
COBOL or CGMY. Uh, and uh, the relations between terms uh, presented here on, in the last stream. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, and uh, now, uh, several words about uh, Wienerhof factorizations, uh, factorization and uh, related computational things. Uh, so as I uh, s uh, told you uh, that uh, in uh, mathematical finance, uh, many numerical methods use uh, Fourier transform and uh, solution to the uh, single barrier and uh, uh, options without barriers can be expressed in terms of uh, Fourier integrals. Uh, so uh, I recall the definitions uh, uh, and uh, sometimes we use different coefficients between uh, before uh, integrals in direct and inverse Fourier transform. So I use uh, this definition without any coefficient uh, bet uh, before the integral in direct case. And here we have minus and plus uh, and uh, one divided on two pi uh, before the second integral. And uh, why I uh, give uh, these details? Because uh, sometimes uh, when we use uh, some numerical realization, uh, in implemented in some maybe program products or in some libraries, uh, there are uh, different definitions. And uh, for example, in MATLAB or in Python, uh, there are different definition for Fourier transform. And so, if you use uh, directly uh, the implementation in this program product, uh, then you may obtain the wrong result. Uh, why uh, Fourier transform is important in our case? Because uh, uh, if we consider uh, the option price in terms of probability, it is a conditional expectation of uh, payoff function uh, and conditions uh, uh, with some conditions on uh, current position of uh, uh, process uh, which we use for modeling and uh, its uh, extrema. And uh, if we uh, represent uh, this uh, expectation in terms of integral, then we will have some convolution or uh, if to be more correct uh, outer correlation and uh, this type of integrals uh, uh, can be uh, computed very efficiently use, using uh, Fourier transform uh, in fact uh, uh, the idea is uh, that if we want to obtain in uh, uh, different x uh, this integral for example we have n axis uh, and uh, to compute this integral numerically we need n points as well for example and in this case we need uh, n multiplied on n uh, operations or uh, big of these operations and uh, if we use uh, Fourier transform uh, we first we apply Fourier transform uh, to G and F, uh, multiply this Fourier transform and uh, make uh, inverse Fourier transform. Uh, and in this case, we have n multiplied on uh, logarithm n operations, so uh, it, it acts uh, much more faster. Uh, that is why uh, this approach, uh, from computational points of view, this approach to compute expectation is uh, more efficient. Uh, if we consider uh, interpretation in terms of integral differential operators uh, or uh, equations, uh, then uh, the option uh, price uh, can be represented as a solution to the uh, 
problem for integrate differential equation subject to some uh, initial and boundary conditions. And uh, so in, in the case of Levy models, this integral uh, differential e uh, equation is sufficiently complex uh, to solve it. And uh, so uh, uh, consider uh, Levy process XT and uh, we introduce two type of extrema of its uh, of this uh, uh, process is supremum process and infimum process. Uh, uh, the definition uh, the definitions are presented on this slide. And uh, if we uh, uh, consider exponentially distributed type time. Uh, then uh, characteristic exponents, uh, characteristic functions of uh, uh, supremum process uh, found in uh, this time point and uh, uh, in femum process uh, in uh, this uh, exponentially distributed uh, time uh, are factors uh, phi plus and phi minus uh, for uh, characteristic exponent uh, for characteristic function of uh, uh, initial process X at uh, this uh, exponentially distributed time TQ. Uh, so I mean this in, in the title of uh, this slide, uh, this characteristic uh, function. Uh, has the form Q divided on Q plus psi at psi. And uh, in fact, uh, this is the symbol of uh, the inverse operator, uh, which arises in the case if we solve uh, this problem in terms of integral differential equations. So uh, the idea is uh, that we need Excuse to find... Excuse me, yeah. Ah, yeah, ask yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, So yeah. this, uh, this uh, exponentially distributed times are supposed to be independently chosen from from they are independent from from the process x yeah yeah okay okay thanks and then the remark that probably this um fraction q over q plus psi this is a kind of a symbol of a resolvent operator uh, yes uh, in fact uh, this is uh, this is uh, uh, is just a characteristic function of uh, X uh, at time TQ and it is uh, resolvent, yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, this is uh, uh, Wienerhof factorizations in terms of characteristic functions, and uh, we may. Uh, sorry, write... so so uh, uh, well, sorry, sorry that I inter interrupt you, but but what is Wienerhof factorization? So what it is exactly? Uh, this, 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 is this, is, this is this relation in terms ah, this of, relation. yeah, uh -huh. uh, okay, this is, uh, so in fact, uh, we may write winner hope factorizations in different terms. So this is uh, in terms of uh, symbols, uh, in uh, terms of characteristic functions. We also may uh, write winner hope factorization in terms of operators. So mm -hmm. uh, the next, uh, uh, s part of the slide is just uh, this uh, factorization in terms of operators, because uh, uh, as I say a bit later that uh, the operators, we may represent operators are as uh, pseudo differential operators and uh, since the, we have this re uh, relation for symbols and then we have a similar relation for uh, operators itself. Uh, so if we consider uh, the operation operator that uh, uh, finds uh, the expectation of uh, payoff uh, for, for some function uh, shifted uh, at x uh, at time tq, uh, then it may be in many cases uh, 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 written uh, like this as a 
autocorrelation or convolution. And uh, the same times, uh, uh, types of operators uh, may be introduced uh, for supremum and infimum processes. So in this case, uh, we have three types uh, of uh, similar operators and uh, winner hope factorization for uh, in terms of operators uh, and this uh, means that uh, this operator E is uh, superposition of operators uh, E plus and E minus or E minus and T e plus. And uh, uh, these characteristic functions are in fact symbols of these operators like it's uh, shown in the next slide. If we define uh, uh, the operator D as minus I uh, on uh, differential operator, uh, then, and if we apply Fourier transform, in this case, uh, operator D uh, uh, goes to, uh, to Xi. And uh, so uh, any differential operator uh, under Fourier transform uh, goes to uh, polynomial function, and if we generalize uh, this uh, uh, this um, definition, then we obtain so-called pseudo-differential operators, or uh, in this simple form they called uh, Fourier multipliers, uh, and uh, so the function a may be not polynomial and may uh, may be more uh, has uh, have more difficult form, and uh, uh, if we can, uh, re recall the previous definitions, uh, it uh, can be proved that uh, the operator E can be represented in the following form uh, via Fourier transform, and E plus and E minus in the following form as Fourier integrals. So, if you know the symbols phi plus and phi minus, psi is known, uh, and phi plus and minus uh, are not known, and this is the main problem. So, if you know these symbols, we may uh, easily mm, compute, uh, calculate these integrals using uh, Fourier transform, and uh, it will be very fast. Uh, so, the problem is that phi plus and phi minus are not known in explicit form except uh, very simple cases. Uh, so, but uh, there are several very simple cases uh, for factorization. I recall uh, a couple of very important facts, uh, facts uh, that we uh, will use uh, and if t exponentially distributed time in, in this case, uh, these two uh, random variables are independent and moreover uh, supremum process and the difference in these differences are identically distributed. And uh, uh, so using this, uh, we may uh, 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 implement winner hope method. And uh, if uh, supremum process is uh, in fact uh, uh, the initial process, in this case uh, uh, infimum process is just zero. So it means that uh, phi minus will be one is equal to one and uh, phi plus will be Q divided on Q plus psi of psi. And uh, in the case if uh, infimum process is uh, equal to initial process, then we obtain uh, similar uh, factorization identity, very simple for realization. And this is uh, uh, trivial factorizations we will use in our approach. Uh, so, uh, in fact, uh, there are explicit Wiener-Hopf factorization for 
a couple of cases, and the first case is uh, Gaussian Levy process. Uh, and in the financial mathematics, it is known like Black Scholes formula uh, for a specified uh, drift uh, gamma. And uh, to factorize, uh, we need just uh, to solve the equation Q plus psi of psi equal to zero, and uh, there will be two roots in positive and negative. Uh, half place uh, imaginary roots and uh, in this case uh, phi plus and phi minus will be very simple and uh, in fact uh, they will represent uh, uh, the characteristic functions of uh, exponential distributions with uh, parameters beta minus and beta plus and uh, more complicated case is Q model. In this case, uh, we need uh, to solve uh, the equation of uh, fourth degree, uh, but um, it can be done using uh, computational methods, uh, numerical methods, and uh, not uh, very difficult. And uh, in this case, factorization is also not very but in other cases, uh, phi plus and phi minus can be represented uh, as follows. Uh, and uh, we can see that uh, just to compute uh, phi plus, uh, phi plus and phi minus, we need many operations, uh, n on m uh, operations. Uh, and uh, in fact, it makes... Uh, uh, direct methods of computations uh, very expensive. Uh, so, uh, in the case of Levy, general Levy models, when we suggest to practice uh, uh, in, uh, to apply this to to problems uh, for Levy processes, they can see on this formula say yes, they are very great and. Uh, as I said, in the case of single barrier options, we have uh, explicit formulas with this plus uh, phi, uh, phi plus and phi minus in these terms. And uh, we can say great, very nice formulas, but nobody will implement them because uh, they are very, very difficult. And even in the case uh, more, uh, in the case of uh, approximate uh, factorization uh, uh, using approximate factorization methods. Uh, uh, as I said, I was one of these uh, authors of uh, these methods. We have uh, not very easy algorithm uh, that uh, people uh, from industry will want to apply. And uh, how to solve this problem? Just I have uh, had a very uh, large uh, introduction. So uh, the problem is uh, in terms of expectation. Uh, so in FEMO process, extreme uh, process, uh, during the time of living, op uh, living time of option uh, uh, should be less than barrier H and uh, uh, in FIMUM process should be larger than the barrier zero after normalization. So, in fact, uh, to compute uh, this expectation, we need uh, the joint expectation of three random variables, uh, in FIMUM, XREOM, and uh, itself, XT. And uh, this problem is uh, very difficult, uh, and from Monte Carlo, it's uh, also difficult to uh, find this joint distribution. And uh, what we do uh, to uh, uh, justify our approach, first we apply Laplace transform uh, to this expectation. And uh, uh, when we apply this uh, transform, we may just uh, notice that uh, in 
uh, this uh, exponent is related to exponential distribution, we just need the multiplier q. And uh, then we uh, make uh, some several steps. We just find uh, the derivatives of uh, the function v uh, and multiply on this uh, uh, complex multiplier, but just to obtain a gamma uh, distribution. And after several uh, times of this procedure, we may rewrite uh, this uh, uh, derivative uh, as expectation of uh, our payoff function at uh, x uh, at uh, time which have uh, gamma distribution. And uh, why it, is, uh, it can be, it is interesting for us and uh, what uh, it gives to us. In fact, uh, uh, this uh, coefficients that we use and derivative or of uh, Laplace transform uh, repeats a well-known post wider formula for uh, inversion of Laplace transform. And it is uh, well-known uh, that uh, uh, this uh, uh, this uh, function tends to uh, initial function f tau uh, when n uh, tends to infinity. So uh, the function uh, vn uh, at time t divided on n at uh, end point x uh, will converge uh, to initial function uh, v of t and x as n goes to infinity. So it's uh, this approach uh, uh, justifies uh, so-called trick uh, like car's randomization when we use randomized time, or uh, in fact uh, many people uh, do this. Uh, in fact, uh, use this approach uh, uh, when uh, we uh, uh, consider small time intervals. We divide time interval on n steps and uh, consider some some scheme, for example, fine and difference or other uh, schemes, uh, iterative schemes uh, uh, using uh, small time steps. And uh, uh, since uh, uh, gamma distribution can be represented as uh, sum of exponentially distributed uh, uh, random variables. We can uh, represent x uh, at time gamma distributed as a sum of uh, uh, our uh, process xt at uh, time which have uh, exponentially, exponentially distributed time. Uh, so, uh, and uh, then we obtain uh, the simple, simple iterative scheme uh, using, uh, at this case, uh, we use, at each step, we use uh, now exponential distribution. And uh, as we remember, exponential distribution related to Wienerhoff factorization. So uh, this is our goal. Uh, so in the case, uh, in this case, uh, we need at each time step, we need uh, to compute uh, this expectation uh, when uh, t have uh, exponential distribution. And uh, as we said, uh, this, uh, the, the post wider formula we obtain this this scheme will converge in n. Uh, so uh, we obtain that uh, if we set q equal to t divided on n and uh, take uh, the initial zero function v as a payoff function, uh, then we obtain the iterative scheme. Uh, uh, that will converge to our function where t, uh, v at t and x as n goes to infinity. 
And uh, now uh, the question is uh, how to compute this expectation. Uh, in the case of uh, single barrier options, uh, we uh, consider uh, we represent uh, XT uh, as, uh, in fact, uh, X, uh, first X and the second X are uh, different X, uh, but uh, have the same distribution as uh, supremum and infimum processes of initial XT. So, in fact, we represent XT as uh, XT minus uh, infimum process plus infimum process, or XT minus supremum process plus supremum process. And uh, so uh, we obtain two shifts on supremum process and infimum process. And in this case, we may apply plus process, which shifts on uh, supremum process, and then uh, shift on infimum process. So in this case, we obtain very simple uh, realization, but uh, the main problem is to find uh, uh, the symbol of operators E plus and E minus. In the case of uh, two double, uh, two, uh, two barriers, uh, in the case of double barrier options, unfortunately, we do not have such an algorithm. We need uh, to find matrix factorization uh, or find some different way. And uh, so this is the references on uh, uh, several methods for uh, pricing uh, using uh, approximate factorization in the case of uh, uh, single barrier options. And in the case of uh, double barrier options, we have only iterative uh, schemes uh, for each uh, uh, time step. And uh, in the case we have or in uh, coupled Wiener Hopf equations or uh, some iterative scheme or on at each time step. Uh, and uh, what is um, the idea of a uh, new approach? Uh, in the case of uh, uh, finite uh, variation of jumps, we may uh, represent the process uh, as uh, in uh, terms of uh, two so-called subordinators, it means uh, that the processes uh, that uh, non-decreasing or, or non-increasing, uh, so process XT plus is non-decreasing uh, uh, and XT minus is uh, non-increasing. Uh, in simple words, uh, just uh, positive jumps and negative jumps. But also we have drift. So if the drift is positive, we add it to positive jumps. If the drift is negative, we add it uh, to negative jumps. And in this case, uh, we uh, decompose the Psi, our uh, exponent, characteristic exponent Psi in in sum, in the sum of two exponent, uh, exponent of positive jumps with positive drift and uh, negative jumps with negative drift. And uh, uh, in a short uh, time interval, uh, we may uh, consider the process uh, that will be approximate initial process. Uh, as follows. Uh, first, we consider upward movement, uh, which uh, corresponds to time t divided on two, half of time t, then downward movement, and uh, then upward movement. Uh, it is uh, uh, similar to Marchuk uh, splitting uh, used in the case of uh, numerical method for solving differential equations. And uh, in this case, uh, we approximate uh, initial process with uh, this uh, simple uh, 
uh, time uh, simple process. Uh, but uh, for this case, we may simply uh, compute uh, uh, infimum and supremum processes and find Wienerhof factorization. We introduce uh, the plus operator, uh, which is the shift on the extremum uh, supremum process positive and uh, infimum process for negative part. Uh, as, I, uh, as I told, uh, in this case, uh, uh, negative uh, uh, process uh, is equal to infimum process. Uh, and uh, in the first case, uh, supremum process of X plus uh, is equal to the process X plus because it has only positive jumps and positive drift. And then uh, using uh, uh, steps uh, we just uh, shifts on positive or negative uh, jumps, we just calculate uh, this expression uh, using uh, this plus and minus operators. And uh, in the case of double barrier case, uh, we obtain uh, such a simple scheme plus application first plus minus and plus operators. And using the properties of plus and minus operators, we obtain in the case uh, uh, of single barrier uh, the scheme like this. And in the case of double barrier case, the scheme like this. So, uh, and uh, as I said, uh, uh, the main problem is uh, uh, to find uh, uh, the symbol of operators E plus and E minus. Uh, but in our case, in our approach, uh, the symbols of these operators are very simple and very uh, easy, and uh, these uh, operators will be very easy to implement by using uh, Fourier transform, uh, fast Fourier transform algorithm. Uh, if we consider uh, the plus uh, case, uh, uh, I, uh, in this case, uh, phi, uh, we denote with phi plus uh, the characteristic uh, function of x uh, plus uh, at time t cube plus r, r divided on t, uh, it will be the same uh, as a characteristic exponent of its supremum process, because uh, this process uh, is non-negative, uh, have non-negative uh, increments. And uh, the same for uh, the minus case. And uh, Phi plus will be uh, defined in terms of uh, psi plus like this, and phi minus will be de uh, defined in terms of psi minus. And uh, I recall that uh, in our case, for example, for uh, uh, temperate stable Levy processes, psi plus and psi minus are known in explicit form. So, uh, to implement these operators, uh, we may uh, just to com compute uh, the symbol uh, at uh, array of uh, point xi multiplied on Fourier image of the function and uh, apply uh, uh, using uh, fast Fourier transform algorithm and then uh, just uh, use uh, inverse Fourier transform. So the computation is very easy and uh, the symbols are in explicit form. And uh, uh, this uh, uh, method uh, was uh, implemented into program platform Premia for single and double barrier case. And uh, uh, the single barrier case is published in 2020 in engineering letters and uh, uh, 
uh, the case in the case of bounded variation uh, this method was bounded uh, was uh, uh, published in uh, proceedings in mathematics and statistics uh, in 2021 and uh, here is uh, one uh, uh, example uh, for uh, knock and out uh, put option uh, so it means uh, that if uh, we are up or uh, down uh, barriers we will be and the, the price will be lower the barrier D or uh, up uh, then barrier U then we obtain nothing and if uh, this event crossing barrier event will not occur uh, um, up to time uh, T then we obtain uh, the difference between we can uh, sell the uh, our stock or currency at price k and uh, the model is a temperate stable model or in parameterization of cgmy is like this in cobol model is like this and uh, there are two barriers and uh, these parameters uh, taken from the uh, paper by Archinka and Lewandowski for computation. So we used uh, Monte Carlo simulations uh, from this paper, uh, use uh, approximate Wienerhof factorization with detailed uh, computation of uh, this phi plus and phi minus uh, uh, with uh, like this integrals that I uh, showed you at the beginning of my talk. And uh, our simple method so uh, s uh, w h f is this simple winner of factorization and uh, uh, a w h f is uh, approximate winner of factorization from byarchenko lewandowski paper and uh, mc is monte carlo method and we can see that uh, uh, with uh, all the methods are in a good agreement and as we see that in the case of uh, simple winner hope factorization method uh, we use not too many operation operations uh, to obtain similar uh, uh, similar results as in uh, can be implemented into the program uh, very easy and uh, the code is very simple and here are the relative errors uh, so uh, uh, this approach uh, with some uh, uh, additional tricks can be generalized for more general models like models with uh, diffusion component and uh, with unbounded jumps and I'm uh, working on it now and uh, in fact it's very simple uh, for uh, for program realization and uh, uh, moreover it uh, may be uh, give possibility to uh, popularize uh, this such a sophisticated tool like Wienerhof factorization for in, for practice uh, in industry, for example. I hope. So thank you very much for your attention. I ready to answer your question. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much for a very nice talk. You also very sharp at six like seven p.m. So just one hour, exactly one minute sharp and thanks again and we have time for questions please questions oh, well i have a question if if, if it okay is please go ahead mm -hmm. um yeah so my question would be um so is it possible to do something like this for uh, if you consider not levy process but failure processes have you uh, ever considered something 
yeah, for diffusion, for example. Uh, f uh, in fact, uh, in the case of diffusion, uh, if you consider uh, Gaussian uh, case, uh, if uh, uh, there is uh, uh, the local uh, dependence on X, in this case we need uh, to find, uh, to construct factorization for each X and it is uh, more difficult problems problem. Uh, so in this case, we can see that the symbol is doesn't depends on X. Yes, yes. Uh, so in, in uh, and uh, for this case, for example, for Heston models and for uh, uh, similar diffusion models, Bates models and so on, there are uh, different, uh, there are approach uh, to approximate uh, diffusion, to, uh, so to obtain a set of equation and uh, in uh, to solve these equations using uh, this approach. Uh, but uh, I, I should say that if we have just diffusion process, uh, then uh, something like finite difference scheme will work uh, better because we have three diagonal matrix in the case of approximation. But if you have something like jumps, uh, then uh, you may combine your method uh, for solving, uh, for example, the case when we have no jumps and the case with jumps. Or if you have only jumps, uh, and uh, in this case you may use uh, this, uh, this method. Then probably then I have, have a, a remark that is mm -hmm. the formula is just a special case of approximation. And uh, the the actual approximation failure process. It is Budko, um, Shilling, Smolyanov, 2012. That is probably so. It is a generalization of this post vida formula. So instead of resolvents, one just uses pseudo differential operators with symbol e to the power t psi. Mm -hmm. so symbol psi depends on on both variables, so we don't have a semi group, but uh, nevertheless, it is a kind of trotter formula. It's a generalization. It works, so probably mm. it can be useful for for your approach. Yes, uh, in fact, uh, uh, in maybe in sixties or seventies, uh, there were written uh, the book of Eskin, where the problems uh, in the case of more uh, when the symbol depends on uh, x and xi is. Uh, is solved uh, in terms of pseudo differential operators, uh, but uh, the question is how to calculate it, how to compute it, and uh, yeah, what's uh, it? Because, <laughs> yes, because in, in in the case of Levy models, also we have very nice formulas, and when mathematician looks at this formula, uh, he says uh, says uh, very nice formula, very beautiful formula, but where practitioner looks on the formula. Uh, say very nice but thank you very much <laughs> it's <laughs> impossible to implement so uh, maybe it, it is the next step uh, to find uh, generalization of this approach uh, but uh, in the case when we have not only diffusion but also jumps because in the case of diffusion i think uh, final difference will work uh, very uh, very nice Yes, yes, but I mean failure process. That's that mm -hmm, is yeah. process with variable coefficients. Mm -hmm. So with jumps. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. More questions, please. Maybe I'll have a small question. When you in the word Fourier transform or when you speak about symbol or are you doing this formally? I mean, you don't care about function spaces and existence in a regular way, in a regular sense. Uh, in fact, uh, if we consider uh, the problem, for example, for double barrier option, then uh, uh, the function is uh, sufficiently nice to have its Fourier transform. So because it's uh, bound it and it leaves on uh, but some. then when, when it comes to applying the inverse one maybe not so good well I understand uh, that some things can be done here and in a formal way 
uh, yes, in in the case of uh, in even is in the case of sim uh, very simple uh, European options and uh, single barrier options, we need uh, to have exponential weights uh, to uh, to obtain uh, the nice functions. So it uh, means that we need uh, to have a shift in uh, complex line and uh, sort of regularization. Yeah, yeah. I it see. is uh, it is uh, the case for uh, computational uh, financial mathematics. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the case sense. of double double barrier case, uh, I think we do not need uh, this. We can do it on the real life. So that's why you consider the okay, temporary portion of stable stuff, yeah? Uh, once more, please. That's why you consider this temperate version of stable distribution to have this regularization or, or not? Uh, uh, no, maybe not because uh, uh, this uh, temple, uh, temperate stable LV processes are just temperate means uh, that we uh, reduce very uh, large jumps. Uh, mm -hmm. So, in the case of very large jumps, we have Levy flights, and in this case, uh, it, uh, uh, the mathematics will be different. And, okay. Yeah. Okay, good. More questions, please. Well, if there are no more questions, we actually had a very nice discussion already. And let's thank speaker for a very nice presentation. Thank you. Thank, thank you to everyone much. who came to our seminar and see you in a couple of weeks.